Hi, my name is Anshu and welcome to my channel Bottleneck. This is a Scala design pattern series. In our previous videos, we had learned about what is an implicit design pattern and different type of implicit. We also implemented implicit parameter in our last video. Now, one important thing about implicit parameters is what if you want to declare two implicits in a method? So how we can do that? So all implicits need to stay together. Say I can declare here, here a different implicit value. Say I want to say discount 1, which will be of type int again. This is equally valid. So all implicits will stay together. I cannot declare an implicit here. So this is not going to work. It is going to complain because all implicits need to stay together. So this is how Scala will infer the implicit values as the second argument to any method. All right. Now let's continue with our implementation of implicit methods and conversion. Now for that, let's take a look at the run config that we have. So we have these two values as our core config. Let's copy them. Okay. And let's go to car config. Now till now we have the two parameters like we saw. We have an app name that is cars. That is the app name and a cost int. Now what if I add another value? All right. Let's name it as start date. All right. Let's make it a date. So it is going to be Java SQL date. All right. And Let's give it a value, a default value, date dot value of, and let's give it something as 2024-06-30. All right. So this is a string that is converted to a date. Fair enough. Now here, if I have to declare this in the option parser, it should be of type date or maybe string. Okay, we will read it as a string from the command line. All right, and the name would be say start date dot action, and we will be copying the value x comma c. So now it will be x dot copy. That is the case class. Okay, sorry. X would be the value C dot copy. And we have start date equal to date value date dot value of X. Now, this looks perfectly fine. But what do we see here is the, the this format is defined. Now, what if someone is mistyping it say they are typing it as 32 or they are typing some other value which is irrelevant to a date so there should be a proper exception handling plus i want this conversion to happen automatically so that my code looks very neat and clean i can do this using an implicit so this conversion of date can happen implicitly so whenever a date is passed from a command line we can infer it directly as a date value from string to date all right to do this exercise, let's create a new package called utils. Under this util, all right, let's move this util outside. Okay, now in this util, let's create our implicit value. So first create an object all my implicits all right let's make it an object okay now let's move this in a proper place i think it should be here on this level okay yeah now we have this utils here with implicit now i need to declare an implicit method so as usual implicit method will start with implicit dev and it's going to be you can give a name of your choice string to date 
now here it is going to be s as string and it will return a date so it is going to be a java date java sql okay all right now it will be s dot or date dot value of and s okay now there is a possibility if this format is different for a date it should throw an exception so we need to pass on some logical exception or some user defined exceptions or statement to the console so how we can do it let's add it a try okay so it is going to be java util all right now once we do this try then we can do two option and then we can do get or else we can equally do success and failure but let's do get or else and throw new exception so make it runtime exception okay and we can pass our value say the value is not in the in the given date format all right so let's rearrange okay and we can also pass the value as s all right so now we have done this string to date implicit conversion now let's call this package inside our car config all right let's do this import or uh, let's yeah let's import everything from this implicit okay so now i can directly pass x here okay now you see this x is implicitly converted to a date value and if this format is different for the date it is going to throw an exception now let's quickly test this let's go to our main let's modify the run config let's add one more parameter as date let's pass the value as string as 2024 hyphen say give some value as 06 30 now we are expecting that this will be printed out on console while we are running it let's modify the cars here and let's comment out these run statement yeah all right so it is going to print the configs and in car config we are going to see all the values all right let's run this and let's see whether we have achieved our goal all right just wait for it it's compiling all right so with implicits this is how a uh, implicit method or conversion will work with respect to implicits you can pass any data type on top of which you want to run the conversion and as you change the data type the values will change see here we are we can see and if i want to see this this is a car config so obviously this car config this data type so this is date so obviously this is explicitly implicitly converted so this is working perfectly fine all right let's do some negative test let's modify this run configuration and let's pass some value say I want to pass a relevant value 32 let's apply and let's see whether this will automatically figure it out implicitly whether this is correct date or not all right now the exception so the option has failed the value is not a give in the given date format and yeah it also printed the value of string that we had all right so now we know that uh, we can throw an exception as we like it so what we achieved here is this will reduce the code the boilerplate code basically and it will we can achieve the target with uh, more 
cleaner abstraction and implicits help you in con writing multiple conversions we can write multiple implicits as you like here as you see in this this is one implicit if i want i can write another implicit maybe say implicit dev if you want to do something like string to a given format a given format that is equally possible so it will be marked as string and this is your uh, format that you want to pass on to user format okay so we are going to see this example in our next video how we can do an implicit conversion from a given string value to a user format and apply a pattern match on top of it so we are going to see this in the next video all right if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.